Hey guys, what's going on? It's Sochin here and welcome to another video. We have Diaz to review today. This is uh, definitely an interesting card to review because of the fact that he is 5'5 five five with medium high work rates, 3-star, three 3-star. Three um, the thing to consider with this card is obviously it's going to be for the fun concept because I would never be caught dead using a 5'5 five five player in the CDM area. I don't even like using Conte personally in this game because of his height. I can only imagine what it's like to have a 5-5, five five, but hopefully it actually proves me wrong. Um, we're looking at a card that has some interesting link-ups for a team, right? So we're looking at a double link-up over here. We're looking at a triple link-up over here, right? So this whole link-up situation with having players from Racing Club is very interesting because you could start off in like a nice little 4-3-3 basic 4-3-3 with the three center mids you got link up to him to him to him right so you have a very interesting thing to work with there so um you know he's there for the fun concept makes your team look cooler uh if you were to buy all four of these guys it would kind of be it would kind of look really cool um super jealous that this league got such great players that are super usable to be honest with you but um yeah we are looking at a card that the only thing that's really throwing me off is the height obviously but i'm gonna need this card in the future at some point for Lissandro lopez so we're gonna keep him in there for now um we're looking at a card that has 84 acceleration with 73 sprint speed defending stats in general are uh, pretty decent so if you give them the shadow chemistry style boost it should significantly increase the card um, what's interesting about this card is that he has shot power and long shots doesn't have finishing which isn't necessarily always an issue with cdms right as long as they can hit the target sometimes they just get past the goalkeeper from sheer shot power um, he's got great passing ability so i do see this cdm uh, being more of an agile type player that's going to move around the pitch really nicely for you to open up the sp uh, space for other people um and then obviously he has absolutely brilliant dribbling now here's the thing with this card is that he is five foot five so maybe potentially that 80 dribbling on the card may not affect him because of the fact that he's five foot five but we do have to test that out the fact that he is 99 balance with the five five i expect him to move really really fast in the game right that's what i really really expect him to do i am very curious to see what his off the ball movement is going to be like with the shadow chemistry style this is one that you just have to give to him because you have to test out that defensive awareness on the card is he going to be really really defensive oriented i think he will be because of the fact that he also has the 80 attacking positioning physicality is kind of there i don't really expect him to be the physical type right i want him to be the aggressive type of player right he's five foot five I think Conte is like five foot seven, and people really like Conte. So, um, yeah, I'm gonna try it out. I'm gonna try it out. Shadow is the only chemistry style you can genuinely give this card, in my genuine opinion. So, yeah, I'll show you guys how we line up. Don't worry about Raul being on low chemistry. This is for the sake of the review. You guys, you like that little Chilean link over there with Vidal? Um, yeah, we're gonna be lined up like this. So let me show you guys. Uh, we'll be, we'll just be using Lauren Blanc as the uh, cam, so not a big issue there. We'll put Acosta to the right side there just for the sake of the review and then diaz because he is uh, a three star three star three star three star player i wouldn't recommend putting him on the right side so you put him on the left side with a vidal that has a four star weak foot you're looking kind of nice in regards to instructions we want to see what he's like with his stamina so his stamina is 97 right so 97 stamina with 80 attacking positioning we want to test out what he's like going forward coming back uh, especially on the cover center. Honestly, I never really change from the cover center. I think that's the most ideal situation. But uh, yeah, let's get into a game, see how he plays. Hopefully he's super usable. Again, I, I do the card because I need those links up, link ups with Lissandro Lopez at any point in the future. I like to use fun teams. I like to use new players. So uh, it's 60k to do the SBC, 50k to do the SBC. Probably cheaper at some point as well because it's an 84 rated team with two informs. So um, yeah, let's go see how he plays in game. Oh, this is an interesting team to try out. Oh, you know what? This is a fun team. I, res I respect when I come up against teams like this. He has Marcelo there because Marcelo on base cam stats is still pretty good, so it doesn't really matter. Just one out of All right, let's see what he's like here under pressure. Don't do any skill moves with him because his skill moves are really slow, so just make sure that you solely focus on him being your CDM in the team. Let's see what his positioning is like here. And they'll play with a soul striker. Yeah, pretty solid. Not too bad there. Let's see what he's like coming over here. Nobody's making any movements whatsoever. This game's amazing. Um, yeah, so, so far in, in regards to general movement on the ball, 
Uh, the dribbling part is kind of noticeable for sure, regardless of the fact that he is five foot five or whatever. Um, I could definitely feel right off the bat that this is going to be a hugely sentimental card. I don't think he's going to be like a huge game changer at all, um, but we'll see. Ooh, good build-up opportunity. And Babu with the block. I will say in regards to positioning, he definitely stays in that CDM position quite nicely. Um, so it is a very good balance here. Not too shabby. Switch the play over here. Get that finesse shot off. Raul doesn't really have the power because he needs that chemistry style boost. He's in a good position right here. Let's see what happens. Little layoff pass. First time shot. Not too shabby. Passing is uh, passing is pretty solid with him. He's very attacking oriented in that general position. Let's see how fast he transitions back into position. He does a he actually does a really nice job transitioning back there. That's what I expect him. So off the ball movement is decent. All right, so we want to just push Vidal out of position to see what he's like off the ball wise, tracking really nicely. This is without cut passing lanes or anything like that. He's occupying the middle position actually quite nicely. Uh, considering the fact that he doesn't have stay back while attacking or cut passing lanes, he's actually doing a decent job. Has a rotation policy with Vidal right now, which is interesting. Yep, still occupies that position in the middle really nicely. Again, not tall, so he's not really going to you know, be a huge influence in regards to like intercepting the ball and whatnot. That's why players like Laurent Blanc are amazing, because he's a super defensive oriented CDM that just has that height and physical presence uh, that's going to help you out in a lot of de general spaces. Nice play right there. Raul positions himself really nice in the basic chemistry style to score that opportunity. Very nice. Yeah, he still does a lot of emphasis touches, even for his height. So I am noticing that. I think the dribbling is uh, is pretty noticeable for sure. First time pass. First time pass again. Ball roll touch. Uh, he's offside. Yeah. Good off the ball movement there with uh, Acosta, though. But uh, yeah, his first time pass there wasn't too bad. He, he chose to do it with the outside foot. Uh, with his outside foot. Normally, that's why I like to have the four-star weak foot no matter what position it is, is because um, if he had a strong weak foot in that position, maybe he would have uh, made a better pass there on the inside of his foot. Yeah, so he is one of those CDMs that uh, that occupies the middle position instantly. So you know how like Lauren Blanc kind of does that as well when he's in the CDM position? Um, this card's also doing the same thing. So that is my favorite characteristic to have from uh, my CDMs. I want them to be able to to do that really quickly. Uh, you can see there that his transition defending wise was really fast. You know, to turn around, get back into position to be able to defend really nicely is going to be a huge thing with this card. Now, obviously, I know I keep saying this, but the 5'5 five five height is 100% very noticeable, right? So what we're going to do here is I want to test out what his off the ball movement is like on cut passing lane stay back while attacking and cover center we're not gonna do that with Laurent Blanc we're gonna go ahead and keep all of this on balanced mess up the tactics a little bit more here just to make it super aggressive just so we can test the CDM more and then we'll go from there I'm liking this positioning right now so we're not gonna switch to him just yet yeah, so in those positions, you obviously need to switch to your CDMs, but look, he still he still goes back into that semicircle area really quickly, occupies the empty space really quickly as well, so pretty nice there. First time pass, nicely done. Do a skill move here to see if we can get into some space. First time shot, really nice goal with Dembele's weak foot. Um, yeah, so obviously... Good off the ball positioning, stay back while attacking cut pass lane seems to be a really good instruction to give this card. Um, you can see where he's positioned right there, even in the replay that he just chills back there. Vidal has a little bit more of an attacking presence, so he's kind of he's gonna kind of push up a tiny bit. Um, but you know the card's very usable for 50k. You can't really go too wrong with it. Uh, it's not necessarily anything that's gonna improve your teams per se, but um, I think there's like huge sentimental value towards it. All right, guys. So final verdict on the card. Um, for 49k, it's obviously very cheap. You can get the card for sentimental value, for the fun aspect of the card and whatnot. 
Um, generally speaking, I wouldn't really use him that much in my team because of the fact that he is 5'5", five five, and for me personally, I don't really like to use players that are short. Um, his dribbling was noticeably um, poor at times with the actual dribbling stat being at 80, which is interesting because he's 5'5", five five, so I would assume that'd be faster, but the thing is too, right, is that he is going to be playing in the CDM position, so because he's going to be playing the CDM position, um, most of the characteristics that you want to see uh, that are good from your CDM is good defensive presence. Now, this card obviously has fantastic acceleration with the Shadow Chemistry style. 99 acceleration with 83 sprint speed is very helpful. Um, but you specifically need to use him on stay back while attacking cover center or stay back while attacking cover center and cut passing lanes. It's just that for interceptions and for certain general, general plays, um, he's not really going to intercept the ball that often, even with the 99 interceptions, because of the fact that he is five foot five. So, genuinely speaking, those two were the only problems that I had with the card. It's just the dribbling is not super responsive. Like Conte, Conte just moves like a beast, right? Um, even though he's short, Makalele similar moves very, very uh, decently on the ball. I wouldn't say as quick as Conte for some reason, but uh, does move quite decently. Again, this is a decent card dribbling wise. It's just that. I expected it to be better because of the fact that he's five foot five with decent agility, 99 balance, right? So I thought it was going to overthrow it a little bit, but it just didn't. Um, but yeah, with the shadow chemistry style, it definitely makes the card very usable. Again, if you give this guy, if this is a Portuguese dude that's a CDM, I'm doing the card in a heartbeat, right? So it just depends on how uh, on how you view the game, whether it's worth using and doing for you. But 49k. Even genu generally speaking, I probably wouldn't have even done the card, even for Lissandra Lopez, because there's Salvio and stuff that I can get links up, and that's a Liga Noche player, as well as this Lissandra Lopez, so, um, yeah, that's pretty much it, guys, thank you guys so much for watching the video, it's 49k at the end of the day, it's cheap, right, so, it is what it is, thank you guys so much for watching, I'll catch you guys in the next video, peace out dudes, love you guys.